Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about this from Niche Gamer and an older website as well. Simon Max saved the world, censored jokes, and recast voice actor. Developer says they forgot all about them prior to launch. Ah, the joys of SGWs infesting the game uh, games companies and things like that. They are absolutely fucking useless. To the point that the, uh, they are unable to create anything. They need to steal something. Then when they appropriate and steal that something, they ruin it and then move on. They are kind of like locusts. Not things like that. Or um, cancer cell or things like that. And to make my point even more salient, I'm going to do a... A tiny little bit of a deep dive on the Scan Cape, which is the new company responsible on doing the remaster of the series. And you're going to see why they've decided to censor all of this. The quality is, well, it looks absolutely stunning based on the pictures, but um, I don't know. I don't know what went through their head when they managed to recast the, the voice actor for Bosco. To make my point even more strong, I am an actual fan of Summon Max. Look at this. This is going for a lot on eBay and etc. I bought it on release day. Look. This is the comic book that got printed. It's in fact very good. Um, I also have the cartoons here. I have another copy because uh, they come with the season two and season one. So the other one is stored and watched. This one is um, sealed still. This one is the season three, which you got it from Steam and downloads. Season 2, see, I'm not lying, I am a huge fan of Summon Max, I'm a huge fan. Season 1, which is the one that they've managed to remaster. And, the classic of the classics. See? It's just, it's a... <clears throat> It's amazing how they managed to ruin everything in here. How they managed to destroy things. Let's get back to the article, shall we? Skunkate Games have censored several jokes in Sun and Max Save the World and recast a voice actor for not sharing the race of their character. I think the, it's mm, not quite going down there because the actor also managed to make a few videos on YouTube that triggered a few idiots uh, about his ability to uh, racially interpret other people's races in game, uh, in game characters. Either way, let's keep going. And remaster of the Telltale games, Summer Max Season 1. The game launched on December 2nd on Windows PC and it then switched soon after fans noticed several changes. These changes include censorship to jokes and references that some may find offensive. Noted changes include the following, editor though some of the text below may be considered spoilers. Um, on the bounding into comics, they go in detail about what lines got censored. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm going to cover this right now, and then I'm gonna show you how shitty it is, the new voice actor. It's actually worse than you think. It's even worse than me trying to do voice acting, and I absolutely suck at it because I have never done it before. I'm absolutely, utterly incompetent. So you can imagine how incompetent the guy who did the Bosco's voiceover is. Hmm. Either way, bounding into comics, Summon Max, the world, Save the World remaster changes several jokes that developers were uncomfortable, including in 2020. The recently released remake of the classic Telltale adventure game Summon Max, Save the World has, has had several jokes censored from its original release, with, the, um, with developers Concape Games explaining that these edits were made as they were uncomfortable, including the jokes in-game in 2020. 
because um, you know they are trying to make a game for the demographic that doesn't buy these games. So I do not know what they what were they thinking? Do they actually expect that these idiots would actually come in in droves and pay them to do this? No, of course not. Of course they they do think that, but huh, what were they thinking? They are obviously going to lose money out of it. All right, let's move on. Created the first beauty. That's the story, the history of the game. Of the game and the and the characters the comics and other things this is from the very first game this one is an absolute classic awesome however development issues included the franchise from the detectives to disappear from the realm of video game for nearly 12 years and then 2006 2007 uh, November 9th, Scoonscape Games, uh, games founded uh, by Telltale co-founder Dan Connors, named in reference to the Summer Max character General Skunk Cape, announced that they would be re re releasing a, a remaster of the Summer Max Save the World, as the original game's assets had been um, too outdated to simply re-release. Given the adult and cynical nature of the game's humor, some fans met the announcement of the game's remastering with caution. Yes, because every single thing that they do in recent years, uh, they destroy it because SJWs. They, you need to, uh, to appease to a demographic that is easily triggered. They are perpetually offended. That were initially assured by Skunkape that only changes coming to the game would be the camera work and comedic timing. Of course, they lied. What else is new? Tom Fox, uh, Tom X S Fox stated on one hand they promised that all the jokes would be as we remember them, but they immediately contradict this by saying that they may be even better than we remember them. Based on the on the stuff that I read here, they are not better. They are in fact slightly worse to worse. So what is it now? Will the dialogue be the same or not? Fox then added, quote, I'm hesitant about pre-ordering the game until I get a clear answer, end quote. And to put it in mildly, or to put into a perspective, uh, I I saw uh, I think a couple of weeks before the game released that they actually changed the voice from Bosco, and I said, well, okay, they changed it. Maybe they are going to do like the Max did, and with the in which they changed the voice actor, and it was practically the same thing. You didn't even notice it that much. I didn't even notice it when I played it through in the, in the beginning, only later I found out that they actually changed it in, in the first season with to season 2 and things like that. And, and I thought, hey, maybe they found someone that sounded pretty much like Bosco, so okay, I'm gonna let that one slide. Until, let me drink coffee first because this one is gonna hurt. until I actually listen to it take a look this is the original I'm gonna let it play for you a little we'd bit. like to patronize your fine establishment my good man by patronize you he means we want to buy stuff from you not mock you we probably will mock you but that's not what he meant I know what he meant don't patronize me so what do you want to buy do you have any weasels on a stick nope do you have any two-handed bron Pez dispensers with the head of infamous Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa? No. Do you have any moving points? Oops. Good in all the land. Tell him we'll pay him just. So you listen to it now. This is the changed voiceover. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. Is this you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Oh. See, he completely lacks that punch, that a thing that you absolutely loved from the original series. It completely lacks all of that. It's so damn sad. To see what they did to this it's absolutely irritating the guy but it doesn't seem to be there to do it it doesn't seem to be 
I don't know, wanting to do the job. Or I don't know what they were thinking when they casted the guy who did this. And the worst thing of all... Uh, what? Oh, oh, now this is interesting. I didn't actually read this paragraph, but here it is. While unconfirmed, it would be possible that this was due to a recent outcry over TV series such as The Simpsons having white voice actors and actresses portraying non-white characters. Kamen is white, while Banks is African-American. Kamen has kept his role as Jimmy, Jimmy Two Teeth, a rat in the game. So it's not because of what Kamen did on some of the YouTube uh, videos he did. No, so definitely it's because of the white character voicing a black character. Ha! Huh. Now that puts into perspective what they did. Now this is bullshit. Fucking people. God damn it. And here is another thing that you need to be aware of. Um, Scone Cape Games go further stating that the changes were so minimal that we forgot all about them when we first posted this this fact or FAQ. Uh, but wait, I read online that you said such a, a ton of jokes. Nope, not true. We did make a small tweaks to a few jokes, so you did censor a lot. Not only the voiceover, but also uh, some of the jokes that really took the edge out of it. That we were look, we did make small tweaks to a few jokes that we were uncomfortable, including in a game in 2020. You're gonna know know why one of those jokes were taken out soon enough. These changes were so minimal that we forgot all about them when we first posted the, this fact. These uh, these don't change the game experience. It does change quite a bit, and we feel strongly that it was the right thing to do. I do not think so. Unless you go looking for them, you probably won't even notice. People noticed. I'm sorry, but people noticed. Here is uh, the jokes. Uh, the guy, uh, somebody on the Steam forum, actually compiled some of the changes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, did they include? Uh, or well, either way, they they quoted here on the. Um, on the article for Bound into Comics, uh, episode 2, original art, uh, original dialogue. Oh no, the skin bodies are like skinheads, but 10 times worse. The new dialogue. Oh no, the skin bodies are like those horrible hairless cats, but 10 times worse. It just doesn't have that same punch. But you're going to notice now why they actually changed it. Here is the biggest fucking reason why they changed it. Jake Rodkin, one of the people behind the Scar Cape developers and remaster of the Summon Max games. Look, we've been matching donations all day today at Idle Thumbs. We are at $26,000 plus donated, which is absolutely wild. Thank you all. Help us max out our $30,000 matching goal. Hashtag burn loot murder. As you can see here, they are actually they are actually part of those troglodytes who actually support the idea of bailing out criminals, people vandalizers, and people who actually harm others or killers and things like that, even pedos. So you know why they changed that joke. But that's not the only one that can give you a, an idea as to why they changed it. I'm going to show it to you again in a few seconds. What other joke that kind of alludes why they changed it? Look, here's one from French. Original dialogue. You may call me Jean Francois Sissipont, the cowardly French, French anarchist. As you know, anarchists are not supposedly to be coward in the new, uh, the new view of those socialists, those idiots. But here we go. You may call me Jean Francois Bonaparte, the new way French anarchist. It just makes no sense. And to make it even worse, Summer Max actually addresses the guy as Sissy Pants. 
and now the new di uh, and they said that they would actually fix that bug in a patch. But here is the problem. Considering the everything they have done and they censored the name and everything, they will obviously try to censor the the CC Pants uh, name from Sam and Max. They'll definitely censor it in a future patch because they said they'll fix it. So you know, this game is beyond saving now. And I dig a tendency for male internet users to portray themselves as young girls on the internet. Here's another thing they censored. Uh, episode 5, Original Dialogue. <clears throat> it's cause everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar, like a dwarf, or a orc, or a, or a hot young 15 year old girl, curious about adult world and willing to experiment. New Dialogue. It's cause everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar, avatar like a dwarf or an orc or a troll, but we've got enough trolls. See, it took out the edge of the joke. It took out the punch of the joke because this one here, it's a lot of, lot of truth. When you go play on an MMO or, um, and this one's pretty much the beginning of World of Warcraft, so you know. This holds even true back then, it holds true to today. Yeah, because a lot of the girls you see roaming around on those games, it's usually a goddamn fucking male. It's usually a fat, balding male playing the character. So, so the joke hits, hits that sweet spot, but this one doesn't. Ah. <sighs> Why do they need to fucking destroy the remasters and things like that? Like in Commandos 2, here, you can see here, these also, uh, they also ruined that one. Here's another one, and I think this one, it's pretty much self-evident as to why. Users in the thread also reported that the entire piece of dialogue, particularly two conversations in which Sam and Max poke fun at how the ghost of Bosco's mother cloned her son's body and essentially gave it a sex change in order to provide herself with a suitable vessel with which to return to life, were changed. This is actually kind of hilarious, but they cannot have this. Why sex change? Sam, mind, uh, mind telling us how you came to be a woman. Max, did you use lasers or just do it the old-fashioned way? Are you sassy me, boy? Boy, I'll whoop your behind so hard you won't be able to see straight. But I don't see out of my behind. You will after I get through with you. See, I told you, I'm not a good voice actor. So you, so you have an idea how bad the new Bosco's voice actor is. How's life as a woman? Sam, how are you those Bosco tech, tech breasts holding up? Oh, those are all natural, honey. I'm not gonna lie, I like him, Bosco me. <laughs> me too. B Bosco. Oh, Max. Oh, Max, you take after your father. Oh, Max. Okay, you just crossed the line, Paul. Some is a max. Theoretically, we have even more to start people to worry about right now. Exactly. As fans began to no uh, notice, uh, began to voice their disappointment and frustration towards being lying to the Scumcape addresses the edits in an update to the official Summer Max. Uh, the word fact, they already covered this. And so, uh, well, in fact, I think I'm gonna go back here because they didn't actually include one of the things in uh, of the joke but well here it is i thought they did completely but there were a lot more changes than uh, than sharing the article from bounding to comics here it is one altering a joke about tear gas being able to clear out a room full of militant college students now no longer being a joke this is one of the things that they actually change in and i can see why based on this tweet because these people are unable to take a joke. They are easily, easily offended. And here's one evidence as to um, his proof that the, uh, the guy actually works there or has had a hand on it. Designer at Valve helped make, uh, make Half-Life Alex, Firewatch, The Walking Dead, Summer Max, and other fine games. And as you can see here, uh, it's one of those guys. And you can see here another 
who's uh, who are the people behind this is that now so uh co-founder founded in september 2013 by shin sean vanaman and jade rodkin from campo santo this is, these are the same idiots oops sorry i boomerized that one campo santo it's the same idiots that founded the uh, campo santo it's, uh, sean vanaman and, and jade rodkin so you know it's actually bad. These are the same idiots who actually attacked PewDiePie over a joke he made in another game and they DMCA'd PewDiePie's um, video game, uh, Firewatch content and video game. So here you can see Sean Vanaman who are filling a DMCA, a DMCA takedown on PewDiePie's Firewatch content and any future Campo Santo games. So, uh, so you can see these people are utterly and easily triggered. Then we have another evidence. These are the same people who went after somebody else about Dota 2. Look, it's the same guy. So you know the type of people you are dealing with here. Got sent uh, to low priority by Steam employing Dota 2 in game. The team looked into this case and concluded that the user cle clearly did not deserve the ban. Even if the user did deserve a ban, however, we all think it's clear that the manually banning user is not a good idea because of how hard it is to be objective in Dota games that you are in. My mistake in this case being a sterling example. As employees, we should, we should have no special privileges when playing Dota. That, ha that has been the team's informal policy in the past, but it has clearly failed in this case. It won't remain informal going forward. Manual bans like this won't be allowed anymore altogether. And sincerely apologize, apologize, sincere apologies to the user. So you know, you're dealing with these kind of people. And even worse, even fucking worse, you're dealing with the people who actually joined and... Worked with Anita Sarkeesian, you know, the 25 invisible benefits of gaming while male. As a gaming while. while male. Look, this is the same idiot, no feminist frequency. The same fucking retards. Look, 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 look. The benefits of playing as a male. Ah, go fuck yourself. Ah, Jesus, Jesus Christ. And to make my point even further, as to why I think there, there won't even be, based on some of the suggestions that I read on the Steam forums, that uh, maybe they had a mode or an option to do to toggle those jokes back, like they do with the blood and gore settings and 18-plus 18, 18 year old content on some games, etc. Maybe adding like a SJW Games Journalist, um, journalist option and right below, classic. <clears throat> this is evidence that this will never fucking happen. This got retweeted by uh, with Jake Rodkin. Look at here, Eric Sturp. Big shout out to those at the Skuncape team for, will uh, for being willing to put up to put in the work to edit and tweak content in the Summer Max remaster to reflect a more inclusive viewpoint instead of just throwing up their hands and saying it was a different time. I think that's rad. No, you idiot, you don't censor stuff, you don't change stuff if you are doing a remaster. Leave it as is. Jesus Christ. And I don't care who the fuck it offends. I absolutely loved when they poked fun of the skinheads. <coughs> Sorry, my allergies are attacking me today. I have no idea why. I do not know why would they need to change things. Come on, leave it for us fans because you know very well that only fans will actually buy these these games are uh, uh, very few very very few of those triggered motherfucking idiots would actually bother to buy these games uh, look i love the humor of max max is turns out is my favorite character and he has a lot of edgy humor kind of like me but mild just a tiny little bit mild in comparison but why 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 would you do that <sighs> It's it's disheartening when you're dealing with people like this. You're trying to 
you're trying to, to enjoy a game, but instead they go on and censored, they go on and changed. Ah. I, oh, if you're not going to respect the original material, if you're not going to respect the stuff uh, that has already been made, then don't bother remastering, then don't bother touching it. <clears throat> It's just, it's just an insult to everything that has happened. Look, there's even mentions of special needs children joke being removed, license plate, which uh, I think, I think, uh, let's see here, the note changes, uh, this one will go to Steam directly, but good thing is that it won't uh, dox me. Here. This is what the user found out. The episode 1. Bosco Novel cleared out the room with militant college students in no time, guaranteed. Now you understand why they removed this joke based on this tweet over here. So now you understand. Oh no, skin bodies are like skinheads, but 10 times worse. Here, the original drug dealer. I love those tiny little details in the game. And now, what? Arms dealer? RMS dealer? things like that why would they do that they take out the edginess of the joke look they also made a reference to sissy pants being still being mentioned by someone max i didn't notice any change the uh, dialogue so far this time and we saw how to hit crypton does not show up might be a bug episode four they changed one of bob's lines take our complimentary goggles designed for special needs children so that little ones can play along Take our complimentary white fit goggles designed for for playing while bicycling and enjoying full contact sport. What? That makes no sense! Who the fuck wrote this? This one is actually kind of funny. But this one has no makes no sense. It seems that the person who wrote this was doing it so while drunk. I'm talking about drunk, let me drink coffee. <clears throat> it's absurd. <sighs> Cause everyone on the internet has to pick an up. Uh, okay, I already covered that. Another thing that they actually changed. Uh, half elf, foo! New dial uh, dialogue, half elf, troll! Makes no sense! They're kind of, uh, they're kind of like ca uh, calling the user or the, the player, foo! But this one, troll, makes no sense. Um, 100 trillion, you crazy fool? Look, good man, all I know is I keep picking up the most ridiculous uh, price I can think of, and you keep paying it. So I ask you, who's the fool? Look, man, I know, uh, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I, th I can think of, and you keep paying it. So, so I ask you, who's the crazy one? That makes no sense. Look, I understand that they're trying to make a crazy one and fool, of course, but the impact, the impact is completely gone. And the dialogue they completely removed, which was absolutely hilarious when I originally played it on my very old computer <clears throat> back in 2006. And you know it, I did, because you saw me holding the damn DVD case. In fact, I actually even played it when it came out, I downloaded it, was one of the very first games, episodic games ever released. And um, I didn't quite like the idea of episodic games, uh, and I still don't, but I still consumed it because I absolutely fucking love Sam and Max. And why would they choose this series to ruin it? Can't they? Pick some crappy game from back in those days and, and change it or remaster it so nobody can give a fuck. No, they actually had to go and ruin Summon Max. I'm kind of hoping that the other Summon Max game that, the, uh, that is being developed for VR, it's not censored or changed or um, uh, lost its edginess to fit or appease a demographic that absolutely fucking hate games. <sighs> this irritates me. I do not know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna buy the game, play it a little, see how much it has changed, and then refund it. I think that's the 
the only solution to deal with these people, the only way to deal with them. And based on what I've been reading so far, and these are rumors, so do not take it seriously, take it with a truckload of salt, if you will, is that it doesn't seem to have been sold a lot. It seems to have been um, kind of... Uh, for instance, in Nintendo Switch, it didn't even break through a lot of the game, um, a lot of the content. So, they barely sold any units. I'm thinking, a look at this, let's see if there's anything... Yeah, it will definitely uh, dox me. Let's see, uh, let's see here. Um, num, 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 num. No, no, um... Alright, I think, I think this thing here is safe for me to show it to you without doxing me. As you can see, uh, the owners here is 0 to 20,000, so they, they did even sell this amount, uh, they didn't even sell more than 20,000 units. So basically it could be between 100 units, or as today speak, 160, um, our time peak 160, so that means they probably what? So 200 units, less than a thousand, or something like that. I don't know. Like I said, it's just a rumor, and there's no way for me to verify this. But based on the, on what we see here, is that they didn't sell many units. So that's a good thing. Maybe they'll leave season two and season three out of this filthy remastered thing. Maybe they will not. Uh, ruin it for everybody else and to those who actually doubt that uh, Jake Rodkin actually works at the Scan Cape Games take a look at here Jake Rodkin who is the Summer Max Heavy the World Remastered team as you can see here so uh, you know you're dealing with people here who are easily triggered and the thing is I know they are going to remaster it or at least attempt it is based on this part of it here as you can see here they, and they have season 2 and season 3. So hopefully this, uh, this game here doesn't sell too much and causes them to rethink. If they are going to remaster it, keep it as original as it came. And then I'll be interested in buying and supporting them. And maybe even making a video, uh, publishing it, or I don't know. Because I, lo I love the series, you know that. So if they do the remaster, of season 2 and 3, the, maybe with the low sales they have in this game, maybe they will rethink in season 2, season 3, or if they, with the low sales going on, maybe, maybe they'll cancel it and not remaster and ruin a beautiful series and leave it for another company who actually is interested in keeping uh, the game as is. Who knows? Maybe. Either way, at least we still have the original and we can actually hack it a little bit here and there to uh, to force a higher resolution. So either way, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you want more of my content. Especially when I get triggered over things like this. Fuck me. How can they do this to us fans? We built the series as is because we are fans of it. Irritating. I even have the Team Fortress 2 hat from uh, Summer Max. Uh, Summer Max hat, the, you know, the uh, Max's head and Sam's gun and things like that. And they are worth hundreds of bucks today. Anyway, anyway uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell button because you obviously want another notification on your already crowded notification bar. Menu? Well, things like that, doesn't matter. Either way, thank you. So, good night.